This is how to solo complete the main easter egg on the Cold War Zombies map Firebase Z. You will need the Ray K84 for one of these steps, so I would recommend either trying to get it from a legendary trial or by doing the free Ray K easter egg. I would also recommend running with the Ring of Fire as your field upgrade. Anyway, the first thing you need to do as soon as you spawn in is speak to Ravenov at the village. Then you need to travel to the facility and turn on power. This can easily be done by following the indicated hints on screen. Next, make your way to Mission Control and speak with Peck behind this window. After he delivers some story details, you then need to head back to Ravenov and speak to him as well. Once he's done talking, he'll give you a keycard. Now you must find and open three lockers to collect the compounds for a truth serum. The first locker can be found in the equipment storage building at spawn. The second one can be found in the engineering area, which is to your left after exiting from the portal. And the final locker is located in the colonel's office at military command. Once you've collected all three compounds, head over to the field hospital by the barracks and interact with this mixer to combine them. This is going to spawn numerous hellhounds that you'll need to kill. After that, interact with the mixer one last time so it then allows you to actually pick it up. Now head over to the OPC area and place the system on top of the AC unit in this corner. Then if you head back down to Peck, he'll start to hallucinate. All you have to do is wait until it gives you the prompt to speak with him again. Next, make your way to the data center. There's going to be a machine along the wall to the left of Speed Cola that you can unlock. This will then allow you to collect an essence trap. Now you must use this trap to collect the essence of three mimics. But this can only be done with the ones that spawn from areas that have numerous fake drops on the ground, which will only be once around. So it will not work with ones that normally spawn. You must also first damage the mimics until they're about one shot away from dying. Once you've done all of that, go ahead and throw down the trap and wait for the mimic to get close before activating. This trap works just like C4, and if done correctly, it should capture and hold the mimic. If not, all you have to do is damage the mimic just a bit more and then collect a new trap. Now you have three minutes to bring the trap back to that same machine in the data center to upload the essence. You can actually trap these mimics anywhere on the map. It doesn't have to be at a specific location. The only time you have to kill a mimic in a specific area is if it appears appears from a drop in the village. These do not follow you back to the facility. If you end up trapping and uploading the wrong mimic, Weaver will say so and you'll just have to flip the round to try again. The types of mimics you want for this will spawn in areas such as the barracks, the planning offices, the sky bridge, the military command control room, and the mortar pool. Another thing to keep in mind is if you damage a mimic through headshots, the data will be corrupt, so I would only recommend body or leg shots. Anyway, once all three mimics have been successfully uploaded, go ahead and grab the floppy disk the machine gives you. Now take the disk over to this machine along the right wall in the planning offices. This will open the doors to the OPC, which you'll need to step into to spawn a portal. Wait for the PA system to say the portal needs to be stabilized, then head over and speak with Peck. After some dialogue, Peck will then close his window, and Ravenov will give the code for this locker. Interact with the locker to open it, and pick up the ether meter. Next, make your way to the Scorched Defense area, which is right outside of Mission Control. If you come into this left side bunker, you'll find a shovel to your right that you need to collect. Now before the next step, I would recommend getting another Essence Trap to hold a damaged zombie. This will hold it for about 3 minutes, and after it runs out of time, the trap will just spit out the zombie but not end the round. After completing that Mimic Memory step, you'll have 3 of these traps left, so I like to use them for this and future steps. So with that shovel, make your way over to this corner in the open lot area and dig up this ether container. Doing so will then spawn dozens of other containers around the area as well as the planning offices. These containers hold a crystal surrounded by blue and black smoke. What you have to do is find and collect the container that has no black smoke. If you accidentally collect the wrong container, a whole bunch of mimics will spawn and you'll have to wait until the next round to try again. Anyway, once you've collected the right container, you can now move on to the next one. Again, trapping a zombie before starting this makes it a whole lot easier. So the second container can be found in the jungle defense area behind military command. If you head down this second pathway from the left, you'll get a prompt to dig it up. Doing so will spawn a dome around you that you'll need to stay inside. Dogs and manglers will also spawn that you'll have to kill off. If you trapped a zombie before doing this, these will be the only things you have to deal with. Also, if you're doing this before round 15, you can get the Ray Case Power Cell from one of these manglers' cannon arms. So anyway, once you've killed everything off, the dome will disappear and you'll be able to collect the container. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the final container requires the Ray K84. Once you've got that, head over to this right side entrance to the field hospital and dig up the container. It will then fly off somewhere in that general barracks and field hospital area. 
What you need to do is find it from a distance, then shoot near it with the Reikei's alternate ammo type. This will let you approach the container to pick it up. Without doing that with the Reikei, the container will move again when you get close to it. Now with all three containers, you can visit each of the ether reactors and insert the crystals. After that, head over to the OPC and listen to some dialogue. These quotes can take some time to actually trigger, so just keep that in mind. You're now ready to essentially enter the boss fight. I'll explain that more in a second, but it's here I would recommend getting your perks and upgrading a long-ranged weapon such as the Ray K84. I would also try and get an artillery strike by either purchasing one through the crafting table or by doing what I did and save it from one of the assault waves. You will need another one of these during the boss fight, so just be sure to have at least 150 salvage saved up. So, once you think you're ready, go ahead and trap another damaged zombie. What you now need to do is come over to this desk in the planning offices and realign the satellite dish. And this is it. This is the boss fight. Just kidding, there's going to be a small little blue dot you can move with your d-pad, and you need to use that to hover over those other yellow dots. If you look down at the bottom right corner of the screen, there will be either an American flag or a Russian flag for each of these satellites. What you're looking for is the one that has a question mark. Once you find it, hold X or square to align the satellite. Keep in mind, the location of this question mark satellite will be different every game. With the satellite dish aligned, you're now ready to enter the boss fight. After some dialogue, you'll be able to interact with this terminal in the OPC to trigger and in-game cutscene. Now for some reason, after a certain amount of time, the game will still automatically pull you into the boss fight even if you don't interact with this terminal. That's why we got set up earlier just to be safe. So after that cutscene, you'll be taken back to the village where you must now fight the Orda. As soon as you spawn, I would step back a bit, activate your ring of fire, then call in that artillery strike. That combined with shots from your AK-84 should bring its health down to at least 50%. From there, just avoid being downed by the zombies, dogs, and mimics and try to buy another artillery strike from the craft table. If the Orda is still standing after that, you always have your Ray K84 and Ring of Fire. Just be careful not to get too close because he will insta-down you with his hammer hand. After the Orda finally dies, the cutscene will begin to play. Well, that's pretty much it for the video, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.